This is Justice Smith again and I'm back to make that part two video and let me just tell y'all the first part of the video is the five types of people that their personality and my personality is kind of like water and oil you know they they kind of just sit there they're not really mixing together they're just there and, and this last one though is like hot oil in like water now we just I just I'm not perfect with this last one. I'm not even going to lie. When this last one, that's the reason why I have a separate video just for this. I'm not going to rant too long. So, the second one. This is, I'm going to be real honest. I'm going to be real, real with y'all. This type of personality really gets me. Whew. I got this. 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 Okay. The type of personality, and I'm, it's going to sound like I'm going in circles, so I'm glad this video is only... You know, I'm using it on my phone, so I don't have that much room to make long videos right now. I haven't got a SIM card yet. So this video can't be that long. So y'all won't hear me ranting too long. And I'm not supposed to, you know, do that because I want to be positive. I want to get better, you know. Okay. So this type of person that just really gets me, y'all. You know, I've already done my four. I've already done my dishonorable mentions. This is the number one type of person that gets me. But watch. In a year, I'm going to change, so I believe this type of person gets me all over the top over all of them. The rest of them are just pet peeves. This one is the one that just really hurts my feelings. I try to avoid them. I don't even want my friends and people that I hang out with all the time to associate with these types of people. The number one type of person I just cannot deal with, my particular number one type of person I just don't feel like dealing with, is them constant Debbie Downers. When I say these constant Debbie Downers, I mean every event that we ever go to, they are always just sad and something's wrong. No matter if we were to make every single thing right and we were to try our absolute best, you would still somehow find a way to be just sad for the night. I just don't, I don't mix with these people well, y'all. I just don't. I'm sorry, but I really, I, there's a lot of things I'm learning from. Like, I've, you know, I believe I've mixed well with even the preps, you know. I've mixed well with, like, the jock kids. I've mixed well with art kids. It's pretty easy. I've mixed well with over the stream, main top choir kids, theater kids, MJRTC, everybody, even the overachievers, some of the student councilors, the overachievers in any organizations. I mixed well with the really shy kids, the really over the top, the really pretty, the girly, the tomboys. I mixed with everybody. But those kids, and you can tell, like, I'm not judging. Not judging, I still shouldn't be judging. But, you know, I've even been like this a little bit, you know? And I've seen a lot of people who's... A lot of my friends have at least one friend who's like this. I've had a friend who was like this. It will literally be like... If we were to go to three places together, let's say there's five of us and one of them's the negative person. I'm one, the negative person's, and I have three other people. We were to go to three places together. With Let's say we go to eat, we go get our nails done, we go shopping. Okay. This person will manage to find every single thing negative within those three stops, will want to bring down everybody else's day, and then by the end of this point, they're somewhere that you're crying hysterically. I can't deal with those people. I can't deal with the people when every single time we go do, I feel like anything, and it will do stuff for you. We have to change everything in our life for you, and you are still not grateful. I just, I don't, I don't like it. I used to have to cater to those people. Heck, I used to even be that person. I would say about sixth grade, I was around that person. I feel bad for anyone else. You know, I've had a couple of friends who really dealt with that. It was probably, um, would say Tori and Cheyenne. They really dealt with that me. I, those are the number one types of people I can't deal with the most. Um, I've had some, I have one friend who I'm not going to say her name. I'm going to just call her, um, what candy? I'm going to call her Snickers. Yeah, Snickers. Snickers had a boyfriend and a best friend who was like this. Every single... I remember the best friend exactly. She's still acting like this. Everywhere we go, everything should just be negative. And I just don't like that. You know, and I felt bad for her, but she loved her best friend. And, you know, we've been in that situation. I'm glad my friend stayed out for me, you know. So I just want to say that's the number one type of person I just don't feel like dealing with. I love all of y'all. God bless y'all. We're not perfect. We're getting better. You know, I believe we're supposed to as Christians. So I love y'all. Take care. Love y'all. God bless.